Hi, welcome back. In uh, this video, I'm going to show you how I use RC components to build uh, an e-vehicle. I got an e-bike, e-scooter, e-anything really. For this build, we're using a drill battery adapter. You can use just a regular RC battery pack, that's fine, but for this one we're using a dr drill battery adapter. We're using a 50 amp ESC, and this one's rated from 2S to 6S. We're using a brushless uh, outrunner motor, a servo tester, and a e-bike throttle. This is a thumb throttle, you can use twist grip, doesn't really matter, but we're using a three wire for this build. So soldering all the connections, it's pretty straightforward. Uh, basically, I'm just using bullet connectors and uh, male and female ends on each end here, male and female ends on each end here, it goes to the battery. But what gets interesting is using a, an e-bike throttle, uh, it needs to be able to communicate with the ESC here. And to do that, we're using this, um, this servo tester but we have to disassemble it and I'll show you how to do that now. So let's uh, open this guy up. And uh, so inside of here, this is just what we have. It's a, basically it's like a little rheostat that controls the, the uh, input-output. But um, what we want to do is actually disconnect this. So on the back side of here, there's a couple of solder joints, these three, which we need to heat up and remove. And then these two tabs here, we need to heat up and remove those. Alright, so after heating up these tabs here, so it's these two large ones and these three small ones here, and then this can pull out. So that's what we're removing. And then we need to link a couple of these wires here, or a couple of these posts here. And then we also had to bridge these two terminals here and here on the other side to complete the circuit. All right, so we have black ran to negative, red ran to five volts, so that's positive, and then green is the unmarked one. So at this point, we're ready to plug everything together and see how well it works. All right, so now we have our our ESC wired to our motor, wired to our battery, and then uh, wired into this controller. We're using a regular um, e-bike three-wire throttle, and this is a hull uh, type throttle. So let's turn on the power and check this out. Let it go through its cycle, it should be good then. All right, so it works. So it is important to note that um, each ESC is different. So to run this ESC, um, it has a startup sequence, I suppose, you know, for the different programs set into it. So in order to get this one to work, uh, when I first plugged in the battery, it just started like, like the motor just was like clicking kind of. So I had to turn the battery back off and then the start sequence for this one is you have to go full throttle well, with it off. 
You have to go full throttle, turn it on, and then let off. And now, and now it should be good to go. And then there's different um, other features too, like the brake, um, if you wanted to set that up. But we're not doing any of that kind of stuff, so. So I also tried, tried with a few other ESCs to get this board to work. And um, I tried this one, and this one has a, like a built-in rheostat. And uh, that one just didn't work. I think this is a hallless um, ESC. And then I also tried with a bi-directional ESC. And this one kind of worked, kind of didn't. So what, what was happening is when this was wired in, neutral was halfway through, and then all the way up was forward in one direction, and then all the way down was full reverse in the other one. So to, to not move at all, you'd have to be at half idle on here and it wouldn't move. And then you'd let off and it would go full throttle one direction. So that one didn't really work for what we needed here. Then I tried this car ESC and this one just started melting as soon as I plugged it in the battery. So that one I can't tell you because this one was just junk to begin with. But And then for... For battery sizes, these particular ESCs, these run on, this one is 2 to 6 S in LiPo, which basically just means S is 3.7 volts, so like a 1 S is 3.7 volts, 4 S, 14.8 volts, and 6 S is 22.2 volts. So this one will run between 2 and 6S on a LiPo setup. So we're just using our 20 volt uh, Bauer battery pack as our supply. And really you can use you know, any of the uh, uh, batteries that fall in that range. And then for, for the actual motor that we're using, we're using a brushless outrunner. And I've, I've never tried this with a um, brushed motor but I would think the principle is pretty much the same although I've never tried it so I can't tell you for sure this is what I found that works so if you're gonna build an electric vehicle using RC components uh, this is a good starting point I hope you found this useful and uh, until next time take care